That's my hotel. And I'm leaving the old King's Fusen Sign Hotel Hostel. And good morning to you all. Leaving for the train. It's 6.30, 35, and I woke up at 6, and I think I did, <clears throat> I put the, my ball file, mo <laughs> my ball file, mobile, okay. Jag tror att jag satte snus på min mobil, och så gick jag och duschade, och när jag kom tillbaka så hade den liksom, då stod det så här snus, vad var det, så någon kanske hade stängt av den. <laughs> ah, ja. Nu har jag gått därifrån. Jag gick ner i lobbyn och packade om och såg till att jag... Vart fan är mina nyckel, hemnycklar? Jag måste liksom hitta ett bra system där jag vet vart allt är. Men nu är jag i alla fall till tåget. Klockan 07.03 ska tåget gå. Och jag har två byten. Ett i Bullen och ett i München. Det är helt otroligt att jag åker till München med tåg utan att vara i München någonting. Men så är det. Och sen ska jag till Viroda. Okej! För er som har tänkt att tågluffa och inte riktigt vet hur det går till eller för er som bara vill veta så ska man först hitta ett tåg och ja, försök hitta ett tåg som du vill åka någonstans till. Det här ska ta mig till Blumhurs. Sen har man sitt Interrail-pass och jag har Global Pass som var i 10 dagar. Då ska man skriva sin resedag här. Vilket jag är nu 19, tror jag. Ja, det är den 19 dag. Och sen skriver man i hur man ska resa här. And there you have it. Dagens datum och fussen till Buchlo. På väg in mot München. So I arrived at number 27, platform 27, and I'm gonna take myself to number 9. And I have 30 minutes to do this. Get to 5 and 26. It's this way. And then I turn right. Looks very nice. This big and open. All the trails are like this. And over here we have 350 meters number 5 to 10. I'm going to Verona, but the train will continue to Bologna, I think. The trains are not that sexy here, but uh, who needs sex on a train? <laughs> so number 9 was over there and I met this person and uh, said that it changed uh, train so this is München, Innsbruck, from Verona, Bologna this is my train, yeah I am supposed to be in 257 and seat number 95 yeah, 256 I don't know why they have these very large numbers on the wagons because it's not 256 why a couches? så vill jag ju säga att det här är vinodlingar. Och eftersom det är jag som bestämmer så säger jag att det är vinodlingar. Jag har sett det här hela vägen. Alltså väldigt, väldigt mycket. Så att jag tror att det är... Här gör de vin. Arriving in Verona and my god, it is hotter here uh, than it was in Fussum. I spent nine hours now in on the train and it went really, really, really well. So very easy to travel, I think. 
Här är väl stationen Verona Porta Nuova. Okay, there's something very strange about this. The first thing I see coming out from the train station is something from Egypt. Oh yes, I now understand why. Yes, it's Aida, and I am actually going to see that one on Arena de F Arena de F Verona. Arena de Verona. Yaccio Verona, Cittadella Opera. I have to find my place. Romeo and Juliet non-hotel. I think it's this way. And so enter my room in Verona. Let's check out. It's a shared bathroom, but it's very uh, bio. Bio, it's called in Italian, but it's very nice. Very nice, actually. Very nice, and it smells good. There's going to be another family coming here. Oh, they have a big room uh, with two big beds, and they're going to stay here for four or five nights, uh, same as me. And we have the kitchen, and uh, I have to buy things, but I can make coffee and tea to myself if I want to and I have my room over here let there be light so this is my room and oh, and this is very nice this is a, a thing for to remember uh, for uh, another time första, första stället som jag ska bo på ska inte vara ett vandrarhem för att jag har ju liksom packat allting för att kunna resa långt då, om jag nu tågluffar och så här. Alltså man, man har liksom en, en resepackning. Och sen så vill man liksom packa om och göra det i ordning för att man ska kunna ha och vara ute och gå. Och nu när jag kommer till vandrarhemmet och kommer dit liksom rätt sent och så det var en massa människor så. Man kan liksom inte slänga upp alla sina saker. Och det kan vara skönt att göra. Så att det är ett tips till nästa gång för Magnus. Inte ett vandrarhem där första du gör men det här känns ändå liksom så här shared bathroom så det känns ändå liksom helt okej. Okay. Två minuter verkligen, det är så nära stationen. Nu ska jag upp med mina, alla mina grejer. Alla länder har typ börjat med så här turistskatt som man får betala. Nu fick jag betala 10, 10 euro för de här fyra nätterna. Två och en halv euro per natt extra som en turistskatt tydligen. Jag har en nyckel och allting låses på vägen så jag har en nyckel till allting. Här kan man så där. Kommer ut. Åh, det är varmt. Varmt och härligt. Så so just uh, outside the apartment and I'm going into the city. I need to cross a bridge, a river, I need to cross a river by a bridge, uh, but it's sort of very close and I think the first thing I'm going to do is uh, to walk past a, a, a restaurant that she, Dan Daniela, um, recommended and uh, see what that's all about. Here you actually see the railway station, the train station. So it's really, really close. And uh, I think the bridge is somewhat over here. It's half past four. I, I, and I don't have any plans other than that just to... I haven't eaten anything yet today. Only apples and a, a croissant. And I think I ordered it in the French way, croissant. And then I remembered I was somewhere between like Germany and Italy and not in France. So... <laughs> but uh, I still got the order right. So uh, we'll see here if uh, what happens. Just gonna make it very casual and walking around. I was standing outside there and trying to find myself into Verona city and I have my Google Maps and it doesn't say my correct position uh, so it's very hard but I think I now entered the city but not 
where I thought I would have. But this is nice. Uh, I was trying to get to that uh, restaurant, but I think I've sort of got lost in a way. I, and I think I'm going into the city though. But I sort of know where I am. I'm in Sardone Porta Palio, in this crossroad. And uh, this is something historical here. I don't know what. It doesn't say on the map, but I think I'm going to continue that way. Well, on this map where, that I got from the girl Daniela, it actually says Ponte Scaliero Castel, Castel Vecchio. So that's what it is. It looks like someone is... Oh, you don't see, I think. Let's see if we can uh, walk through this like a bridge. And this is a museum. Okay. <laughs> I want to say this is the wall grave, but uh, I don't think you say like that. Okay, so this is not for now. So let's see if we can use a bridge over the... That would actually be very nice. And I think you can. to enter the Asian city of Verona on an ancient bridge. Okay, so listen to this. I was like, oh yeah, I'm, 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 I found in the entrance of Venedig. No, uh, Verona. Oh, come on. Come on. So I found this and I thought that was the entrance to this part. But I thought sort of that it was sort of like here an entrance to this part here but this part is actually the center so now i'm actually <laughs> been walking out of uh, the verona city so i can either go back that is the best way i think and then turn into the city now when it's late in the afternoon i should go to the uh, julietta's uh, balcony because it's quite late so I'll go back right there, and then I'll turn to go to there. And that's where I came from. And uh, I'm walking on Corso Castel Vecchio, and now I enter sort of the main area of ancient Verona. This will actually lead me up to Piazza Bra and Arena de Verona, actually. I need also something to eat. Café Cavo, maybe? I don't know. I think this is part of Arena de Verona, but I'm not sure. It looks pretty goddamn beautiful. It's what it is. It's what it is. I'm going to try that one, La Matunella. 
Okay, so I got it. La Matonella. You get it like this? Hmm? It's cold? I think it has some nougat in the in the in the bottom. Hmm. And it's like vanilla. Vanilla, yeah, vanilla. Or something else. So that's the Arena Arena de Verona over there. You don't see it. This is Piazza Bra and it's a nice, very nice square. This is so funny because there are no information that this would actually be the Giulietta's balcony. And I mean, Shakespeare's, I, I don't think he never was here. There is a book published before Shakespeare that told the story about Romeo and Juliet. And maybe they lived or, or he lived in sort of this area. So it's sort of a big tourist scam. And anyway, I'm on my way to it. <laughs> That's the fun part. But in a way, theater is what it is. It's imagination. And you could sort of imagine yourself that this could look something like this. It's sort of the houses here are really, really nice. This is Piazza del Signori. And we have Torre de Lamberti here and it's 84 meters high. Very, very nice. On the inside here, you can see a Renaissance staircase. Maybe I, I'll go there later. And here you have uh, like three pieces of statues here. You have that one, and you also have Dante. Oh no, that doesn't look like him. He's supposed to be thinking. Hmm. Up here, there's, yeah, there's some line that is symbolizing the Venetian government or the gov governor of Venetia. But I'm heading towards Giulietta's balcony and for some reason I'm thinking that mm, it might be less people there now in the afternoon. Oh, it's 8 o'clock. I think it's closed. Why? This is Casa di Giulietta. Oh, actually, you see the balcony from here. They've actually made purses from people signing the walls here it's the people who are the designers and it's it's on the wall here and it's like i don't know gum if it's gum it's like i don't know i don't want to touch it but it's all over so that's one nice thing though that it, that it people come here to explain their love to each other even if <laughs> the whole thing is made up it's like, you know, if you tell people one thing, they believe it. They say, this, is, this was Julia's uh, balcony. And people don't care if it's true or not. It's like, they go mad and say, oh, really, it is, it is. And I want to believe it too. I really do. Because it would be really nice if it really was that balcony that Romeo climbed up to and uh, said hello to his beloved Juliet. Uh, but it's not! Isn't this exactly what you think when you say Verona, Italy? So beautiful. I thought it 
might be the inside of this court here, but it seemed like no. Plazzo della Regione. So, where am I going? I'm not going to go further away from home, though. No. Not today. Not today. That's not Dante. Where is Dante? Because I have a picture of him where he stands and looks very confused and his hand by his chin and he does not do that this guy that's the fountain is Dante no where the fuck is Dante okay so I were at the wrong piazza Dante is maybe on a piazza over here we'll see now I'm heading back homo and I need some water and stuff I don't see any 7-Elevens or Prespiron or something like that. There you can just buy ordinary water or something like that. Not so much, not so much in, in Germany and not so much here. Uh, I miss that. actually found the supermarket and that's something uh, there were only two in the neighborhood and it's not even in the neighborhood uh, so this is good now I can get some water and it all went well in the supermarket uh, but when I got to the cashier I I got some tomatoes and apples and you had to sort of weigh them in at the station so you don't weigh them in at the cashier so I had to pay and then go back and weigh in them and it's sort of like where you have the tomatoes there's a number and then you have to press that number when you weigh it so then it actually knows how how the price per kilo is now I'm heading home and hopefully I have a more straight way going back. It's Oh, this is nice. So we have the canal over there. And by walking home now from the city, I sort of figured out what happened wrong because I took a bridge over there, and but that bridge is actually over there. So that's why it all went wrong. And I need the bathroom so much, but now I need to hold myself because there can be other people when I come home. So I, maybe I can't go to the bathroom right away. But I need it. Bye bye bye.